Today's adventures with Dumb and Dumber, somewhere east of Florence. Kelly drove us out to the middle of nowhere, and we see some remains of an old corral. That's right, it's cool. Is I'm that all you have to say? And he's looking for a centipede of all the stupid things to do. But we're here, dumb and dumber. <laughs> I like to think, actually, that it's smart and smarter. But on this day, we were heading to a cool location that Kelly had actually driven to a couple times before. And one time I was with him, so it'll be no problem finding it. Unfortunately, we didn't find it. So maybe Dumb and Dumber is applicable. I guess the big question we have is who's who? And as we drive and as we hike, oftentimes we try to figure it out. And we each try to say something intelligent so that we can prove that we're just dumb, not dumber. I threw out a formula to Kelly, pi r square. And of course, Kelly rep replied, pi r round, cornbread or square. So maybe he deserves to be in that cage but we'll let him out. And... And he picks the worst little spot to slip something. Flip the metal. It's an ornamental handle. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Okay, here we are out in the middle of nowhere. That's Gully Paul hiking through the Choya cactus. Watch this. I will pull it off. See if they jump. Hang on, I know I have the ability. There it is. He did it, and it didn't jump at him. Ta da! And you'll notice we're at the rare crested saguaro cactus. Spectacular. Kelly's running over by it. See how big that tree is. Wow! <laughs> Kelly impressed me with his knowledge of the Choya cactus. The hanging fruit choya, staghorn choya, teddy bear choya. So, I figured I'd need to come up with something else intelligent. Otherwise, I'd be considered the dumb one. Or is it the dumber one? I don't know. Maybe I am dumber. But then, I see Kelly take a nap in an old rusted out cattle trough. So maybe I'm not the dumb one. Or is it the dumber one? As we hike and drive exploring, we're typically on state land, but occasionally you'll hit some private property. And in this case, we're on state land and someone decided to have their own little private party. So we took a picture of the pig beer camp. Not sure I want to go there. The desert's spectacular, and quite often you'll see a hawk or bird sitting on the cactus. Drive sl fairly slow, and I want to get a picture of that hawk on top of the saguaro. Not only did I get a picture of the hawk on that saguaro, but we came to many more. And on this next one, I got a picture of two hawks on the saguaro and even took a picture as it flew off. As we were driving and looking for the Gila River, I made the comment to Kelly, what do you think about Roe versus Wade? He says, well, I think if we find the river, we can't row because we don't have a boat, so we'll have to wade if we want to get across it. So, I don't know, maybe I am dumb and he is dumber. Then when I saw him crawl under a barbed wire fence, I thought, well, that's dumb. But then maybe I'm dumber because I followed him under it. But we had to see this little cave so I guess it was worth the effort. 
We didn't end up doing a lot of hiking, but we did make it back out from under the barbed wire. Had a great trip, and somehow we finally got back to a paved road, and we ended up at the mines in Superior. Crazy trip. Still had fun, got a little hiking in, but it sure wasn't what we were expecting. So that's the adventures this trip of Dumb and Dumber. Have a good day.